This is Rob Tebbett for Boxing Social in association with Betfred. Delighted to be joined by the untouchable Cash Farouk. We are here at Fight Camp after your win over Luis Castillo. Cash, first and foremost, congratulations. How are you doing, Rob? You all right? I'm very well, mate. I'm very well. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Just uh, that's it. You know, we just had a fight, so I'm just uh, just going to get drug tested, and that's about it. Uh, you did just have a fight. Looked very good. And um, I think what everybody kind of thought going in would yeah. be a, would be a hard competitive yeah. fight. How did you feel when you were in there? Yeah, it was, you know, I mean, I had a box to plan. My trainers just box, 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 you know what I mean? And that was it. It was, it was near. Obviously, you want to go in there and perform, you know what I mean? But I thought I didn't know what I had to do and just box and box to a game plan, you know, and uh, I listened to my trainer. That was the main thing. Obviously, going in, we'd heard a lot about his story, but we yeah. didn't see an awful lot of him in the ring beforehand. How does that affect your preparations when you don't get a lot of footage for a fighter to prepare for? You know what? I could, you know, I think we only seen about 15 seconds, 20 seconds of his uh, fights, and we didn't know what we were up against. Obviously, his record didn't suggest he was great. You know, he didn't be anybody great, and he's been beat twice. So, you know, you're up. You don't know what you're up against. So, we were like that. You know, it's just one of them ones. So, you know, but you have to still be 100% focused because he had about 70 knockouts. Doesn't mean he's knocked out bugs, but he still knocked out people. So, start to be focused and get a job done. You know what I mean? But we boxed. You know what I mean? And that was a that was box to plan. I mean, that's that was the main thing. Now, as always when you box, Twitter and social media is always a, a blaze of people calling you, well, in my words, and in many other people's words, one of the most entertaining fighters in British boxing. That's got to be such a great feeling to know that so many people want to tune in and watch you box. Yeah, it is. You know, I mean, it's just showing the hard work's paying off for me. And, uh, you know, it's great. People are going out and doing, seeing things like that. So it's, I do really appreciate it. And for me, you know, it's just back to hard work again. What's next for Cash Farouk? Well, you know, I'll leave that to my manager. My job is just to go back in the gym, work hard and train, and wherever he gives me a date and an opponent, I, pre pre I prepare for that, and that's it, you know. And uh, I know they were talking about Lee McGregor, uh, and um, he just go meet him, go mandate, I think. And uh, so, well, you know, I mean, just leave it to Ian. He's going to sit down for where he hunt the next uh, few weeks so, and discuss what's up, you know, and uh, whatever he thinks best option, I'm going to go down that route, you know. I know you're not the type to, to stare into the camera and scream everybody's name, but ideally, is that the fight that you want, that Lee McGregor rematch? To be honest, whoever, you know what I mean, and, uh, you know, it's a big fight, you know what I mean, Francis is brilliant as well, and uh, if it's that, if that's next, you know what I mean, I'm, I'm happy, you know what I mean, and whatever, you know, because it is, in Scotland, I'll be, you know, I'll pack the place, so well, it depends where it is, you know, and, uh, but, you know, and I know Josh Till's box at the end of the year, so depend just depending on how things are going to be, thing, and my manager's happy with my trainer, so, yeah, whatever, I'm ready for whoever's next, you know. Before I let you go, Cash, appreciate your time. I know you're a student at the game. Yeah. I know that you'll have half an eye on the WBO yeah. bantamweight title fight later on tonight. Guillermo Rigondo yeah. versus John Real Casemiro. What do you make of that fight? Depends. It depends where Rigo, um, Rigo, uh, is there Rigondo. Rigondo, sorry, he's got left in uh, in the. He's been off for a year, a year, I think, a year, over a year. So it depends where he's going. Casemiro can really punch. You know, he could maybe Casemiro's just freshen up and coming. Maybe maybe that could be it. And, uh, Maybe I'll maybe you'd sway more to um, Casemiro, but it's just one of the ones that depends on Rogondo. If Rogondo can uh, pull back the years, I think uh, he can do it. He can do it. You know what I mean? So I'm an half, I'm half enough, but I think uh, you, if you're a band, you probably put your money on uh, Casemiro at the moment. Okay. The way he's looking, sorry. Eh? Okay, Cash Farouk, always a pleasure to watch you box. Congratulations again on another exciting performance. Look forward to catching up with you soon. Thank you. Oh, thanks very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Hold on, hold on, Cash.